Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. This is my uh, pond extension uh, rebuild remake video. So hopefully you enjoy this video. Um, if you want to see the previous video where I actually did the, uh, com the, the sleeper pond build from scratch from the beginning, please go to the link and click on the uh, video and you'll be able to watch that. Remember everyone, please like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you can please. We're almost getting to the target of a thousand subscribers. And I hope you enjoy this video. So this is how the pond looked um, before I started dismantling it. So I've cut some of the lawn and we're gonna put some flags over to the left and put some concrete in its place. So I'm just dismantling the pond here, taking the pieces off quite difficult with the, the beans being in the way and that's most what I'm doing. This is how it looks before I start dismantling it. You can see that it's quite narrow in the middle and we're going to make that a bit bigger. So I've taken the underlay and we're taking the bits of liner out as well as the main liner out and here I'm going to basically uh, put the new skimmer in as well. So as you can see, I moved one of the tank connectors a bit over to the left, just so I've got a bit more room for the skimmer connection. And I've dug it out a bit more. But after thinking about it, maybe I, I thought a good idea to dig it out about a bit more. And that's what it looks like. Uh, that's the soil, um, what it looked like when I dug it all out, quite a lot. And here are the sleepers, they're about 80 centimetres long. And here I'm just putting a bit of concrete down, cement, sorry, and then putting the sleepers on top of it. Uh, just to level it out and uh, putting the coat screws in um, and then obviously we're going to have to ratchet it in to make it even stronger. Uh, a ratchet is a good idea. Um, so essentially that's what it looks like at the moment. New uh, cottony coil skimmer in there using some expanding foam and we've got some more brackets put on place to hold it thing, hold it all together and I'm putting some corner pieces in here um, just so the water moves around easier and the liner doesn't get pinched in the corners. So this is one side and then obviously you saw the other side and that's what it looks like in terms of what it looks like. So I'm putting some more corner pieces in uh, just so I don't pinch the, the liner too much um, in the corners and essentially uh, it's coming together, it looks quite nice. So I've put some um, XPS board around as well um, and obviously I'm putting the underlay here um, basically secured with uh, gaffer tape and we've got our tank connectors put in as well so we've got two returns one overflow to the left and uh, obviously the pump to the right um, so th here I'm just putting the liner in it's quite a big job this so you just need to do it a piece at a time unless you've got someone to help you and I'm just moving it bit by bit into position so um, it's a long process but eventually you get the idea we've got it secured in there using a uh, firestone liner so i'm just in the process of putting the water in here just to make sure there's a look you know it, it pulls in and we're trying to get all the creases out moved out to the left and right of it and here i'm just trying to secure the liner um in the corners it's it's a it's a nightmare of a job just take your time um and i'm using some uh, felt nails just to attach it into place um some people have commented saying that maybe you should put all the water in but you don't always have to do that just as long as you've got a little bit of water in there and a little bit of slack you, you should be fine so i'm just going around the corners making sure uh, it's all secure we're putting the tank connectors in now through the liner um, simple process of putting silicon on both sides and screwing it in together to the left there you can see the actual connection for the pump that's the pump connection there we're going to attach a uh, uh, retro bottom drain to that so i'm just showing you the uh, low profile attachment you can get um so we can put in some flexible pipe and also um a flow switch in in there as well so it will if the water drains out somehow it uh, will kill the fish basically so that's the retro bottom drain installed uh eco filtration sell that and obviously i've put the skimmer in so we'll put the silken in around the skimmer, make it secure and uh, sometimes you need to put a bit of extra silken on as well. Um, just make sure everything's ni nice and tight 
and then put a bit of water in there just to make sure it's all half decent and uh, there's no stretching going off so I've got a bib liner here that I'm attaching um, to the shelf area that we've got because the plan is to put some um, water lilies in there with lots of rockery so I'm just in the process of putting that in place uh, also to the right you can see that we've got a, uh, a fish cave with plastic barrel basically with a hole cut in it and obviously you can see me attaching the pipe work now so you can see we've got um, the pump connected up this is all the electrics as well uh, for two pumps um, so I'm just doing the return um, that goes out on the outside pump you can see that it's installed with uh, a ball valve and we have got a, um, an eco pump fitted up in, into the actual skimmer so you can just see me connecting it up um, making sure it's all it's all nice and dry using um, rubber boots and this is the surge filter I've installed quite a nice system and we're going to put some clear pipe in so you can see the clear pipe connected um, and it looks half decent with the clear pipe that's how it looks with the UV on the surge being on you can see it like lit up and I'm going to put another uh, filter on there that's the ball filter we're installing connected to that um, extra piece of pipe that flexible pipe that you saw um, here we're putting our um, box filter in with uh, pond armor pond shield uh, lining it looks quite nice um, so we've got two two filters running looks quite decent and as you can appreciate it's coming along and the pond looks really nice um, obviously that's how it looks from the back um, I put a bit of screen up um, just to screen it off a little bit make it a little bit more prettier and hide the hide the, the pump if possible and that's how it looks from a distance and uh, that's it really